In this video, we dive into the life of the legendary Lauren Hill in 2024, with a special focus on her daughter, partner, family life, and personal achievements. Lauren Hill, one of the most iconic figures in music, continues to inspire millions. We explore her relationships, her stunning house, luxury cars, and her impressive net worth this year. Learn more about Lauren Hill's journey, her legacy in the music industry, and what she's been up to in 2024. Watch now for the latest updates on Lauren Hill's life, family, and wealth. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more celebrity news. Lauren Hill is an American singer, songwriter, rapper, record producer, and actress. She is often credited for breaking barriers for female rappers, popularizing melodic rap, and pioneering neo-soul for mainstream audiences. Born, May 26, 1975, age 49 years, Newark, New Jersey, United States. Children, YG Marley, Zion David Marley, Sayla Marley, John Nesta Marley, Sarah Marley. Music Group, Fuji's. Parents, Mal Hill, Valerie Hill. Lauren Hill net worth $9 million. Life and career. 1975 to 1990, early life. Lauren Noel Hill was born on May 26, 1975, in East Orange, New Jersey. Her mother, Valerie Hill, was an English teacher and her father, Mal Hill, a computer and management consultant. She has one older brother named Mulaney who was born in 1972. Her Baptist family moved to New York for a short period before settling in South Orange. Hill has said of her musically-oriented family, There were so many records, so much music constantly being played. My mother played the piano, my father sang, and we were always surrounded by music. Her father sang in local nightclubs and at weddings. While growing up, Hill frequently listened to Curtis Mayfield, Stevie Wonder, Aretha Franklin and Gladys Knight. Years later she recalled playing Marvin Gaye's What's Going On repeatedly until she fell asleep to it. In middle school, Hill performed The Star-Spangled Banner before a basketball game. Due to its popularity, subsequent games featured a recording of her rendition. In 1988, Hill appeared as an amateur night contestant on its showtime at the Apollo. She sang her version of the Smokey Robinson track, Who's Lovin' You, garnering an initially harsh reaction from the crowd. She persevered through the performance. Hill attended Columbia High School, where she was a member of the track team, cheerleading squad and was a classmate of actor Zach Braff. She also took violin lessons, went to dance class, and founded the school's gospel choir. Academically, she took advanced placement classes and received primarily a grades. School officials recognized her as a leader among the student body. Later recalling her education, Hill commented, I had a love for, I don't know if it was necessarily for academics, more than it just was for achieving period. If it was academics, if it was sports, if it was music, if it was dance, whatever it was, I was always driven to do a lot in whatever field or whatever area I was focusing on at the moment. 1991 to 1993, Career Beginnings While a freshman in high school, through mutual friends, Prakasrel Praz, Michel approached Hill about a music group he was creating. Hill and Praz began under the name Translator Crew. They came up with this name because they wanted to rhyme in different languages. Another female vocalist was soon replaced by Michelle's cousin, multi-instrumentalist Wyclef Jean. The group began performing in local showcases and high school talent shows. Hill was initially only a singer, but then learned to rap too. Instead of modeling herself on female rappers like salt and Peppa and MC Light, she preferred male rappers like Ice Cube and developed her flow from listening to them. Hill later said, I remember doing my homework in the bathroom stalls of hip-hop clubs. While growing up, Hill took acting lessons in Manhattan. She began her acting career in 1991, appearing with Jean in Club 12, MC Light's off-Broadway hip-hop rendering of Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. While the play was not a success, an agent noticed her. Later that year, Hill began appearing on the soap opera as the world turns in a recurring role as troubled teenager Kira Johnson. She subsequently co-starred alongside Whoopi Goldberg in the 1993 release Sister Act II, Back in a Habit, playing Rita Louise Watson, an inner-city Catholic school teenager with a surly rebellious attitude. In it, she performed the songs His Eye is on the Sparrow, a duet with Tanya Blunt, and Joyful Joyful. Director Bill Duke credited Hill with improvising a rap in a scene, None of that was scripted. That was all Lauren. She was amazing. Critic Roger Ebert called her the girl with a big joyful voice, although he thought her talent was wasted, while Rolling Stone said she performed marvelously against type, 
in the otherwise perfunctory. Hill also appeared in Steven Soderbergh's 1993 motion picture King of the Hill, in a minor but pivotal role as a 1930s gum-popping elevator operator. Soderbergh biographer Jason Wood described her as supplying one of the warmest scenes in the film. Hill graduated from Columbia High School in 1993.